Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, using the special No Step Back DLC, of course, as you probably know by now, but we have a potential non-aggression pact with the Japanese. Despite tensions between the Japanese and provisional Russian government increasing until recently, the Japanese have now opened negotiations for a non-aggression pact. The advantages to us are clear, but what should concern us is the advantages it will give the Japanese and whether we will live to regret this move. And the truth of the Tsar. The injustice visited upon our nation decades ago has now at last been undone, and a benefittingly grand and pompous ceremony within the Dormitian Cathedral. Grand Duke Vladimir Karelovich was crowned Tsar Vladimir I through the unbridled elation of the crowds. From here, the Tsar made his first, his first act uh, to lead a procession out from the gates of the Kremlin, greeting the jubilant masses and attending the impressive military marches in his honor personally. In a magnificent speech, the new Tsar extolled the virtues of the Russian people and vowed to once again lead the nation on a path to retaining its former glory. Glorious. Nice. Hello, Vladimir III. Emperor and autocrat of all the Russias. Not just one Russia, but all the Russias. So, peace for now. Uh, uh, they're busy trying to beat up those guys of Corfu Cooperative. Which, honestly, I think for us, I think we just kind of hang out and not kill them off for now. I'm just kind of do just... Uh, well, what is it now? And we're doing the Roman Reconstruction. So, okay, so for, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go the fascist route or we should go the monarchist route. There's a, there's a lot of support for both sides. Like, really a lot. So, for now, as you can tell in the thumbnail and the title, we're going to go the Roman off route. But, uh, <clears throat> I'd say very soon after this one, we're going to go this way as well. Dismantle the Zemsky Sabor. So, we'll do this eventually on the channel. Not sure when, but relatively soonish. But Romanov, Reconstruction. At last, our nation once more has a Tsar to lead it. Two decades after the persecution of the last rightful rulers of the country, it's now time to embrace our governing dynasty once more. And to do away with uh, the minor impediments to the execution of our Tsar's will. After nearly three decades rule by the Bolsheviks, uh, Russia today saw a return to the Tsardom with the coronation of Tsar Vladimir I in a grand ceremony in the Dormition Cathedral in Cath Moscow. After a royal procession through the crowds, a new Tsar spoke to the people that had come to witness him, praising the spirit of the Russian people and vowing to return to the nation to its former glory. A magnificent event. So we do church candidates. Not bad. Pretty good. Westward Bound is okay. Not bad either. Capital of the Tsars is pretty darn nice. More local construction speed. Nice. Uh, and we have more recruitable population factor and consumer goods, which we should probably honestly use. And we're going to grab some carriers because I like carriers a lot. Carriers are nice. Sometimes. Depends on who it is. But we have a nice green color here for the good old Russia. Russia back to where it sh honestly should be all the time. We can do that too. Extraction, don't really need it too much, but we're going to do it anyways. Uh, where's the research slot? Research. We're going to need some research slots pretty fast, but we... Ooh, we're going to abolish a five-year plan. Um... We really need that research slot really, really flipping badly. But I do want to do reinstitute the Mesnivchest, though. Because you can tell, we can we, we, we really need some uh, uh, manpower here. Carlos Spain. Oh, we can't send volunteers? Ah, oh, Why not? We can help the Carlos win. That would be so nice. Actually, what do we have here? The Anarchists are still what, doing okay-ish. Has military access to Russia. All right. Reforge the Triple Entente. That sounds pretty darn nice, actually. That sounds pretty darn... Secure the Baltics. Secure Finland. Sweden. Pan-Slavic Nationalism some, sounds great. My Brother's Keeper. That'd be, that's probably what we're going to do. We'll probably try to take uh, Germany as well as Japan. We'll see what happens, of course, but that sounds really nice. Pan-Slavic Nationalism, though. Ooh, I like that a lot. Um, can, honestly, with the population here... Well, I guess they're still mobilizing, huh? The fascist woman's movement, as well as limited conscription. Alright, so let's just go with the abolish the five-year plan. The five-year plans of the Soviet regime prioritizing the sentence of industrialization of the country over everything else, to the point that it has become one of the greatest symbols of Bolshevik oppression. We must eradicate this project and drop a new national plan for industrialization. You get one city, another city, and some guy named Lazar Kaganovich. Never heard of him before. I've never heard of him before. Absolutely never, ever, 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 ever heard of him before. I got a lot of comments to go through as well, so... I mean, a lot of, quite a few comments, so. Anything else around here? Uh, stability is already 94%. We don't need to really expand it too much more. Really, all we need more is more rubber. And so we're doing really, really well in that. Over here, military high command. Air superiority. Ooh, Vladimir Kosium. There's already an appointment advisor for this trait. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, so that's different. So you can't have the person with the same trait. That kind of sucks, but that makes sense. More casts. Uh, I like both these guys. Do we want to spend our PP on that, though? What do we want to get one of these guys? Well, we're going to wait for that one anyways. You know what we should do? Military, air, rocket, nuclear. 
Strategic destruction? Oh. Prokofiev and Savensky. We can't go... Oh, land auction here, huh? Now that's something I was not expecting. Which land auction, air auction are we going? Do we make a choice? Well, that's not going to be there. So let's do this one first. All right, so we're over there. Uh, Guangxi clique. Pretty nice. Get some of that too. Converted battleship cruiser. Uh, which one is better? This one has one slot up there, and this one has no slot. So goodbye. Honestly, making this one's not a bad idea. But then again, we're going to need some uh, planes. So. 25, 5. This is not great. So that's not great. Heavy ship engines are just better overall. There you go. Get some carriers. Because we can. Poland joins the Allies. Abolish a five year plan. So maybe we won't be able to take up Poland. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, new project for national industrialization. That really hurts our consumer goods. I don't like that one. Foreign experts. Honestly, foreign experts are nice and all. But I kind of want to go with national specialists. Honestly, foreign experts is not bad, but... Mm, yeah, I want this one. Our economic development must primarily be driven by people familiar with the state it is in. Foreigners would take a long time to gain that knowledge, and perhaps even worse, take it away with them when they leave. Which wouldn't be very good for us, no, would it? No, it wouldn't. So we're going to keep um building up uh, at least two and two. But first... Oh, hey, good job, Carlos Spain. We're going to build up some dockyards. Because we will... Well, I do, we do want to go, I do want to go to war with the Japanese eventually. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, political advisors. Patriarch. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, Mladorosi Theorist. Weekly stability goes down. That'd be nice. I don't want to lose uh, stability, though. Daily fascist support. We can do that one, but we're not probably going to for this uh, monarchist campaign version. Theocratic diplomat. Orthodox rabble rouser. That's nice. The patriarch. I want a patriarch, though. Compliance, growth speed, in our states occupied by the enemy. But that's not really beneficial. We're already 99%. It's, so, it's going up by 0.7 every week. Holy crap. Defensive industry. Russian army. Russian air force sucks. Have your plan. Ah, it's a Romanov reconstruction. That's not bad. Romanov spirit. Very nice. Restore more glory to the motherland. Rebuild the nation. Consolidate power. I mean, we need more weakness stability. A thousand weekly metropolitan militias. You know, I, something like this seems really too good to pass up. So let's go with metropolitan. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh my gosh. Oh, they decolonized, huh? All right, well, oh my god, no. No. Well, maybe we shouldn't join the Triple Entente then. Are they going communist? Oh my god, they're going so communist. Everyone's going communist. Oh, maybe it's not good to join them. We just got rid of communism here. We don't need more communism here, man. What the heck? Yeah, that doesn't seem like the right type of plan we should do. Uh, 50. Honestly, I've not done this one yet. I always go with capital ships. Human ships sounds like a lot of fun, but... It doesn't give you nearly as much naval XP, but you know what? I'll try something different. I want to try something different here. 50. Well, airborne assault is okay as well. We're not going to really use paratroopers. Oh, you guys won there, huh? And we did do the non-aggression pack, right? Yeah, we did. That kind of sucks. Maybe we should have not done that one. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done that. It's all right. It happens. Yeah, and we're still building ourselves up. we got plenty of map. I don't know. That's nice. Plenty of trucks, too. Good, good, good. Do we have enough divisions here? No, 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 no. What if I make these guys even bigger? What if I wanted to say, screw this, I want 26 combat width. Will that still be okay? It might be. Ooh, better carry holes. Oh, she's not made those other carry holes even better then. Racer speed. Okay, stabilizers. I regret making this thing now. Yeah, I kind of regret it. Well, actually, honestly, it's not that bad. Honestly, ah, screw it. Whatever. I didn't realize we were so close to getting it done. How good would this be compared to the level other one? 35. It's definitely faster. Yeah, it's definitely faster. My bad. My bad. There you go. We didn't even make, start making it, which sucks. Yeah, keep making some naval dockyards too. That'd be kind of nice. All right, let's go with National Specialists, because I like National Specialists. Followed up with Eastern Development, 35 days, not bad. Develop the Urals, not bad. Ah, develop the Urals. The biggest threat against our nation will probably come from a nation in Europe by developing the areas beyond the Ural Mountains. Over we'll a greater reserve of industrial capacity that even the longest-range bomb will find difficult to reach. Let's hope so, at least. Let's at least hope so. 
and we're gonna build a lot more roads around here because eventually we're going to need to build in every single tile that we own no matter how good bad or ugly the infrastructure may or may not be but I hope you guys are having a pretty good day so a couple of comments include uh, someone wishes or probably quite a few people wish that we had a democratic route yeah I wish it was a democratic route too for Russia but it is what it is not much we can really do about it right now so because a lot of power's gone oh, that sucks uh, it gets better anti-air that'd be nice um, what do you have? Cluster support. Uh, cast. That'd be nice. Go and grab some cast. We want to make sure we have a big old air force. Because that's usually one of the things I always neglect to make properly. That's an air force. There you go. Yeah, look, I mean, look at that. That's so bad. So bad. Strategic bombers. Oh my goodness, that's so bad right now. Yeah, get those fighters. Nice. I'll uh, split them up just a little bit. There you go, there you go. And switch you guys up there too. National specials be good. Develop the Urals of Eastern Development. The areas of the Far East beyond the Ural Mountain uh, offer vast, untapped resources and wide areas for industrial improvement and developments. We must ensure that they're pre are prepared to power bigger projects. Absolutely. Oh, Japan restores it. Wow. Good job, Germany. You got, you're coming back online. Well, that's what we really want. Excavation 3 is very nice. Let's go ahead and grab some more artillery. Thank you. Yeah, Corfu Cooperative is very odd. And Italy was mostly taken up by Yugoslavia. Okay. Alright then. So I'm really just waiting to see what the German Empire do. Are they going to go to war with Poland? Are they not going to go to war with Poland? Because uh, I don't really want to fight some of these guys here, but, you know, it is what it is. And develop the Europe, of course. Next. Uh, I, I hate when the UK decolonizes. It's so ugly. Hmm. I don't want to send my entire army over here either yet. Can I actually go to war? Yeah, you know what? You got some core states, son. They do be looking mighty tasty. Are you... What's Mongolia up to? Oh, they're in the thing, too. Oh. Ah. All right. Interesting. I'll send you guys down here. Not many, but that's all okay. Oh, and they're going to Ching China. Nice. Austria Hungary joins the Central Powers. Well, good luck with that, guys. Uh, Manchurian War of Independence. The Dragon Strikes the Sun. Yeah, we'll see how well or not well they'll do. Central Powers is back online. Uh, Corfu Cooperative, just in case. I know we're sending the cavalry over here. Actually, the cavalry should be good enough for that. Well, we'll see. Japanese aren't doing too bad, though. They're doing A-OK. -okay. 75, supply consumption, better consumer goods. As much as I want that. Minus 2%, 20%. Uh, oh, wait. Spanish monarchy restored. We're bringing all the monarchies back, aren't we? Augusto Torres. Nice hat, the sacred king. Kaiserville in the second. There should be a way to restore like all the monarchies here. We have Otto von Habsburg. We've got Vladimir the third. We've got Wilhelm the second. We've got Augusto Torres. So... Where's our monarchy route for the world? Hmm. I don't know. Let's create the NKVD. If you can think of a better name than NKVD for the Russian, like, far Tsar's selves, please let me know. NKVD doesn't sound very fitting for this type of campaign. 40s, heavies, mediums. Ooh, maybe mediums? Maybe not. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll use tanks. Maybe, you know what? Remind me, we're going to do the fast control. Let's do tanks with then. And that'd be. That's fitting now, but, like, that's, I want to use them definitely then. Oh. oh, did I not get Prove anti air? Hmm. Develop the Urals in the Imperial Academy of Sciences. To make a pretty in the field of the applied sciences, we must be on the forefront of the theoretical sciences. We already have a well-established Academy of Science, but with some additional funding, we provide us with a truly world-class research infrastructure. Nice. And get rid of all that other stuff. It's all junk. Hope you all are ready to go. Uh, since we're here, let's go and throw on the air base. Oh, nice. Should be pretty easy to make. And they go with Kutsk as well. Very nice. How many more days until we go to war with Tanituba? Oh, three days. Oh, that's nice. Three days? Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go motorized rocket artillery. We'll see what happens. Tanituba. Because I do want to go to war. I I, I want to go to war in the, in the SSO. So. The coalition of the free Commonwealth states. Well, the allies aren't as strong as they used to be. That's all right. Whatever.
Well, that's what I kind of thought. Hey, at least we're at war. They just say I want to be at war, so. There you go. Let's see what you can do. If they want to go to war with us, so be it, you know. Um, I guess we're at Mongolia too, but whatever. Five year, third five year plan disrupted. Okay, well, look at that. Wait, what? Uh, that's fine. I don't mind that. Okay, if you want to do this, about this, please go ahead. We can join the Japanese sphere. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really feeling too Japanese in this campaign. Just saying. Wow. You know, as much as fun as that might be to do that up there, let's not do that yet. After this one, National Academy of Sciences, yeah, that'd be nice to do, but not really. Desperate measures. Uh, it would probably be, honestly, yeah, let's get this one. We want to get this one done as fast as possible. Look at Stanley Tuva. In this desperate situation, we must make take measures that we have previously thought impossible. Anything that can be done to stem the invasion must be done. Wait, do they not want to go to war with us? Bros. Well, they're war with those guys anyways. That's so long to take out. Um, can we go to anyone faster than that? Here, you guys. Oh, oh, we're actually trying to push in here. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, this is really bad. Maybe we should stop attacking. Yeah, we probably should. That's really bad. I mean, maybe we lost 75,000. Jesus Christ. Um, Kim Philby, thank you. There you go. What would happen if... Oh, then I can just get more attack. It's fine. You, army offense? Sure, why not? Because my Chukwo. Oh, they tried to beat break free, but they couldn't. If you want to that, please go ahead. Don't really care too much. And let's go with infantry. I'm for sure. Oh, do you have another upgrade? All right, get more attack. So, let's try something here. Oh, yeah, the tanks are down here too. Yeah, yeah, tanks are not that great. Kind of hang out. I want to send you guys home. And by home, come up here. And I want to send you guys up here too. Nice, there we go, nice. Death for measures, just in case. And... Better anti-tank. You guys will be on the line. I want to see if they're going to just attack us all willy-nilly or not. Oh, uh, sure, Manchukuo. There we go. Now they're attacking us a little more wi all willy-nilly. Now, this might be too few divisions now on the line. Yeah, maybe this is too few. But you know what? I want to bait them into attacking us. I want our guys to struggle a little bit more. Got to fix more because I love Cass. Probably way too much. So you, Andres Kuro, you're really good on attack. You have a six attack. Jesus Christ, he's nuts. I, t I, said, I left this wrong guy here. But honestly, this looks pretty good to us. You, cavalry specialist? Probably combined arms, if anything. Yeah, don't attack. Alright, after desperate measures, then I want to come back down here. Penal battalions, lessons of war. Well, let's come back here. Oh, vengeance for... Oh! For the yoke. Many centuries ago, the Mongols launched a brutal invasion of the Russian lands. They remain the only people who could ever be said to have truly conquered Russia. They may seem weak now, but we must make sure that they never return to the former strength so that we may, ne may never again feel the wrath or feel the Tartar yoke. Pacify the Rim. Capital of the Tsars. I like this one a lot. We're used to the Mesnevchevsville. Back in the day, the oldest, most distinguished fam families ran the affairs of state. Let's ensure that the elite were loyal to the state that they ran, and that each new generation would be raised to the exacting standards of the old, which would reinstitute the systems of secure new regime. Ah, they did take it. That sucks. Whatever. Oh, well, there goes those guys. Anything here? No? Hey, level 5, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, we probably want to go... What is it? The one that they used... I don't remember. Was it Wolfman we'll Attack? Theater training. 
Train traits gain. Oh, that's I that's not how to use it before. It begins with politically connected or media personality. Uh, doesn't that mean that they just are harder to level up and stuff? I'll do theater training. One more terrain traits. Tip of the spear. Quick improvis improvisation. Judgment speed. Proper heritage. Huh. It's not bad. Let's do elevator engineering. I'll do something I've not done before yet. Naval leader cost. Best of the best. Kind of like that one. Let's go solo aggression though. Global presence. Naval form. Naval refitting. Refitting is not bad, but I'm not really going to use that too much. Naval destroyer. Light ships cost. Cruiser. I do like cruisers. Oh, that's, well, that's cruisers. Well, I'll keep making a lot of carriers in for now. It's fine. We'll work on them. Where'd they stop? Bro, why'd you stop? Ooh, air stuff? Nice. There you go. And then the Iron Wall wall of Russian Resolve. Oh, that's not bad. Super heavy tank chassis. Holy crap. My brother's keeper. Westward bound. Let's do that one. Much of our western possessions were lost due to the collapse of our empire caused by the revolution. The time's come to build our infrastructure in preparation for reclaiming our rightful possessions. How are we doing over here? Oh, we were. Oh, we're doing great. Oh, we're doing really good against these guys. Yeah, I think we're doing great. Nice, not bad. Yeah, they don't really like attacking, do they? There you go. Keep getting more ship stuff. And logistics first, though. So. a lot of PP. How much do we get every day? 1.82 is not bad. Some more of that, too. That's nice. Stagger retreat. Eh. Better anti tank guns. Third. Oh, we need some of this, too. There they go. We're doing A-OK. -O -A -okay. Not great, but A-OK. -okay. There you go. As long as we're winning. Nice, 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 nice. Infantry, superiority. Ooh, combine arms. Uh, I do like superiority, but that's what I always use. Let's use someone else I don't always use. We're going to have a lot of motorized, but we'll see what happens. You know, you never know. Hello. Oh, Burst Malaya. That's sad. Dutchy Cindy's? Why not? Yeah, they don't seem to really want to attack me too much. Which, you know, I'm fine with whatever. Horses. How good are the horses? That's a good question, actually. Alright. Anything else? More cast. Nice. Yes, sir. How strong are these horses? Oh. Some are eight combo with. Some are. S oh my gosh. Well, hopefully we got enough to actually just fill out the line. 20 combo sounds pretty okay-ish to me. Or at least 18. We go to war with them. Will they join the... Yep, they will join. Okay. Thanks for the yoke, because we can. Just because we can. Literally just because we can. Can we actually win hold out here? I want to test our guys to see if we can actually hold out. Do I expect us to? Not really. Oh, Yugoslavia, huh? It's a lot of red. Can you guys actually win here? You might be able to, maybe. Maybe. Pass by the rim. Church candidates? Yeah, let's go with that one. That's more political power and stuff like that. The church has requested permission to send their own candidates to future elections in the Zemsky support, and recognition of the important role of the patriarchate. All plays in Russian society. We've decided to accept, paving the way to the possibility of a true merger of all the will of God and the, and the will of our ruler. Well, time to hold them. I actually push this out, huh?
Oh, nice. I know it's looking really bad right now, but I kind of don't mind the struggle. Uh, so we can get some more Ar army XP. What are we doing against Romania? Well, they stopped pushing for us there. Right? There you go. Should be able to win there pretty easily. Ooh, supplies. Ooh, actually, do I, did I do this? No, we did, we did do that. Alright. Oh, they captured supply base. That's why. Yeah, no. That's not good. Huh. That's really not good. Anything over here? Patriot of all Russia. So good to get. You know, let's go we'll do that one, too. Planes, light aircraft, there you go. Sorry, Japan, not really interested in that type of offer right now. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. You actually win there, 86? Okay, Japan, relax. Relax, Japan, relax. I know you want us, but still. Oh, okay, well, good luck with that. I mean, he is a cavalry leader, so. Oh, they've been cut off? Oh, that would make a lot of sense then. That makes too much sense. So if that's the case, with these guys, get some logistics. They could really use it. Really, really, really use it. Let's make a couple more. I don't, know why, I don't know why I just want to. I just want to make more cavalry divisions right now. Cruiser hole's nice. Good. Get the next one. So we're doing okay -ish there. Over here. I'm just waiting for them. I wanted them to attack us. Oh, there goes Mussolini. Goodbye, Mussolini. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh, my gosh. Why? Why? Why would you do for the Republic of Austria there, man? Hello, Ferrucci Potty. Uh, what? I don't think I understand that one. Logistics 2 is good. Good, good. Uh, get some better fighters too. Add on in. Oh, there's a lot of lag. What's going on? Another combo was do the fascist path. Do sometimes do the right opposition and keep the Spanish commune alive. I'm not sure how to do that one without the council commands. That something's really difficult. Someone says we should we wish we could set up our rebel government not in Cheetah. Yeah, seems like we're always forced to use Cheetah. Um, maybe next time we won't use Cheetah, but we'll see what happens. Uh, someone says we should do both past fascist and Tsar's path. Uh, someone says go with the Romanov and the Brown ideology. Well, we kind of already did. We'll go with the Brown ideology eventually. But more, more like a gold, in my opinion. Brownish, goldish. Do the North American technique of Red Flood. Reclaim the last lands of the Empire. Oh, that's a plan. And bring a, and do both paths. Wow, Spain is dying really badly to those guys. Holy crap. Oh, there's Japan, you know, doing stuff. Who, who died? What happened? Who rebelled? No, no. Why is it lag so hard then? Hmm. Yep, yeah, and we're back. Back up there, at least. Uh, we're going to push in a little harder than this. I, I, how many minutes have we lost? That's not us. That's quite a few guys, actually. 26,000 against uh, Iran. We killed 55,000 of them. It's not too bad. I really don't want to send our tanks down here. We don't have enough divisions to hold the line, though, so... Something like that, maybe. And... Nice hunt and destroy. And they're still attacking us. Hey, at least someone's attacking us here. Seems very nice. How much manpower do they have, actually? Not that much. They might be mobilizing more, though. You never know. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are definitely mobilizing more. Um, 
you are over here on your offense. Oh, look at that. Yay. Keep trying to nails, guys. Keep doing your best. Do your dirtiest. Do your worst. Battlefield designer. Screen. Screen security. Oh, that. No, 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 no. Oh, care of Dexos goes down. No. Air accidents refitting. Refit costs. Ship repair speed. I like that a lot. Production cost goes down. I don't want her in a sub detection cell. It's a festival. Oh. Okay, then. Wow. The Hellenic French War. Um, sure, guys. Sure. Is either side really capable of doing this? Okay, the planes. Yes, please. Strap bombers would be nice this time of year. But I know not all of us can afford them, so that's okay. It's fine. Oh, better radar is nice. It's 41 still. Let's grab some more output, because we can. And capital that's ours. Western bound. Pass by the rim. Capital that's ours. St. Petersburg has throughout history been the capital of a proud nation. Now, with the Winter Palace once more occupied by Romanov, it's time to make the official... Make the, it is time the official capital is once again relocated to this magnificent city and that all efforts be dedicated to hiding its splendor. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, I'm doing great over here, but whatever. It's fine for now. We're doing well over here, which, is ma which matters much more than anything else. Yeah, I don't care. Well, it's either attack or get attacked, and we've already been attacked, and we lost there, so we might as well attack. Oh, look at that. Nice. Alright. So we've done this one before. Let's do models of design. The location set, huh? Gets all that error XP. We're not getting attacked over here again, which sucks, but still, whatever. It's alright. Now they're attacking us, too. Yeah, they're just really able to beat the crap out of us, even though we literally have air superiority here. Oh, hello, what is this? Alright then. Go with. Eh, I'll do that one because we'll use that one eventually too. And actually, since you're here, go ambusher. We lost a division too, holy crap. Hmm. I'm going to use refine over here. It's you guys that are really sucking, so. There we go. Trying to build a supply base up here just does not seem to work for us. There you guys go there. See what you can do. Oh! Austria's going to war these guys too. Alright, interesting. Dreams at war again. Nice. Should pull away all their divisions now. Alright. You know what, screw it. You're going to go in anyways, because you can. We can join the German faction, but I think we want to go with our own, maybe, type of deal here. Let's, we'll take a look. Take a look-see. So we can do pandemic nationalism. So we can do this one, as well as our Slavic commitments. Which is not bad, but... I kind of want to do this one, so... Yeah. Westward bound. Much of our western positions were lost with the collapse of our empire, caused by the revolution. The time's coming to build up our infrastructure in preparation for reclaiming our rightful possessions. Absolutely. Yeah, we lose divisions, I don't care. I just do not care. Plenty of manpower, they should have literally no equipment though. Yeah, look at that. All 
right. Nice. We go land auction yet? Nope. That sucks. He was Yugoslavia. All right. So you guys come all over here back. That looks pretty nice for Austria. Austria Hungary. Fine, everyone moving. That's fine. Whatever. Hey, I got Tehran. Not bad. My God, I, how are they able to do so well against us? I don't understand. They have—they're taking no attrition apparently. Like, I get where they were attacking, and we shouldn't be attacking. But at the same time, um, it's a bit ridiculous. You're gonna go in. Win or die. Because I don't understand how we can do well so well over here and not well over here. Doesn't make any sense. What do they have on their templates. Yeah. There we go. All right, is everyone on the line? We're gonna we're going in now. Okay, no, no, not everyone's online. Oh my god, I hate that so much. That's my fault that I forgot. Oh my god, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. If if you like highlight everybody and then delete their lines and stuff like that, it should just delete everybody's. Oh my god. Ding dongs. All of them. Good join either faction though. Well, what are you gonna do with Romanian's gone? Nice. Fighter 2, Naval Bomber 2 would be very good as well. This cruiser armor scheme, get the next one as well. Can't force the attack there just yet. My officer core was this one. Oh, 53 air power. Uh I'll go to that one, why not? There you go. Feel good about yourself. So you guys just really don't learn very much at all. And can you guys like not suck here? I know we're using mostly just infantry, but at the same time, we should have more than enough planes to have absolute air superiority as well, so... There you go, look at this. That's a lot better. You're gonna force the attack. You're gonna win or die. Except here. You used to be able to press H, and it, they would stop attacking. But I guess not anymore. I guess Paradox probably fixed that. What the heck is this? Hmm. Okay, seriously, how can we not win here? Are these divisions that bad? They must be that bad. They must be. Logistics, anti-air. Throw that on there for now. Ah, uh, they're doing force defense as well. Well, we got plenty of manpower. We're gonna grind it out. Oh, are we out of stuff? That sucks. Not stopping. Not stopping. Nope. I apologize. I just, I, just I, I can't be bothered with it. I just don't care. This is ridiculous. The Romanians are not that strong. Why are they so buffed to hell and back? Um. Seriously, what's up with these guys? I get I get why down here, because it's over river, but over here? It doesn't make any sense. What, lost half a million, maybe? Yeah, lost half a million. It literally makes no sense. Something as stupid as this, we should be easily be able to crush them. Easy, 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 easy street here. Hmm. I need more planes. Could probably use more planes. There you go. Um, where is it here? All right. Yep. Yeah. Throw more artillery. How much artillery do we have? I got plenty. Screw it. You want to suck? Give have some more firepower then. We'll try. I, I don't know. At the time of scoring, I'm not sure what the meta is for combat with. So, I I'm open to trying anything new and different.
You're wrong. Can you just please die? You're literally out of equipment. You have nothing. Because then again, we have nothing either, but still. Um, there you go. So we're bound. Reinforce, reforge your triple on top. Our auto means in Central Europe must be contained. Our lives once existed for this purpose. And though our name ignominious withdrawal from the great war spelled its end, now it's time for reforge those ties. Well, we'll see what happens. Then again, we do have a, do what do we have any debuffs here? We didn't get any like more attack, uh, more defense. Basically, we have infinite manpower eventually. Because stability, desperate measures. The Air Force sucks. The Russian army. Oh, there it is. It's because we have minus fifteen percent division organization and plus twenty five percent experienced soldiers losses. Now uh, well, that's not like ex the only reason why, but like that's that hurts us quite a bit. That hurts us more than I realized. So. No wonder we can't do as well as I thought we could be able to do. Oh, that's, that measure is gone. That's nice. Go in here. Cut him off. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice. Well, we might as well kill off German here too. We'll see what happens. Dutchy Cindy's. Oh, oh, hello. Oh. Well, at least we got a pair of the peace conferences on, so they capitulated. That's nice. Finally, thank God. Yeah. Uh, to help reduce. Oh, they actually divided Mongolia. Well, I did not know that. Mongolia is actually divided up properly. That's actually really nice. Um, I'm taking all of Iran. I'm going to burn Iran to the ground. I'm taking all of Romania too. Uh, there you go. Let's see. Germany. Do you deserve anything, Germany? Not really. Here, you can have that one. Um, Spain, you kind of screwed the pooch on that one, but you can have Maximus uh, Portugal. And. Oh. You guys have China. Albania. Hmm. I don't want to give it to those guys. Give it. Give Albania. Who wants Albania? No one wants Albania. Give this to Republican Italy. Never mind. That's a lot of score. Hmm. You know, give it Austro Hungarians. People's Republic of Hellas. You guys can listen to. There you go. It's a little better. Hey, our peace. Restoration development. Not bad. Oh, we can do that to the old enemy, Sweden. Oh, look at that. Estonia. Let's do this. Let's secure the Baltics. The Baltic region has been in, long been an integral part of Russia. They broke away in a moment of national weakness and must be recovered as soon as possible. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. And I always forget to fix it up, too. Romanian independence is but a pipe dream. Cool. Good enough for now. Alright, anything else? You all train because you've shown that you're not very good. Um, wow. Maybe build another supply base, maybe? Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, there goes the Dutchie Cindy's. Well, god dang it. There you go, thank you. More political power. Hmm. Ah, uh, do supply stuff because that's pretty good to do as well. Uh, sure, that's fine. I don't care. You guys suck so hard, I don't want to use you anymore. There you go. Ah, uh, just in case. And then... Just in case. Okay, not bad. Not great. Not bad, though. Cool. What do we have here? Better cast. Oh, Carrier Fighter 2 is out. Be good. Uh, cruiser. Oh, cruisers. But we don't have a lot. Oh, we actually have a carrier. Look at that. We got a lot of uh, subs. Nice. Very nice. Oh, build that one up first, though. Earth Oost, well, it's showing us that it's not really worth doing too much there. Hopefully they don't release too many... Does AI not release puppets anymore? I would like to go to war with these guys. So let's reforge our Antana lines and such and see what we can do. Uh, 
Alright, so that stuff is good. Keep going for... Oh, yeah, that's why I didn't make the other ships yet. Oh, my goodness, it's so bad. Patriarch. Local power gain. Don't really care about that one. Daily fashion is important. You know what? Patriarch sounds really nice. We'll get him anyways, because we can. Hope we don't get rejected here. Because that would suck if we did. They offered. Oh! You can form the say they've accepted our alliance offer. And it's taking the steps immediately to expand their diplomatic ties with us. That'll give the Germans something to worry about. Um, I don't want to go to war with Japan. I forgot that we were that we had such a massive border with them. My bad. Uh, uh, screw the Baltics. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Triple Entente, Russia, and Russia. And Russia have announced renewed military cooperation three decades after the end of the old trip, Triple Entente. Though not stated overly, it's likely this new alliance was formed in an effort to curb the expansion of the Central Powers, or Central European Powers. Whether the alliance will continue to expand remains to be seen. Not bad. Wow, they really want our help, huh? Oh, Lithuania's in there too. Hmm. I kind of want to go to the war with myself, but let's do the Triple Entente. It's kind of nice. Hmm. Yeah, screw the Baltics and the old enemy. Cause, yeah, Pan Slavic nationalism sounds like so much fun. Our Slavic commitments. It's not bad, but. Rightful heir to the Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Secure Finland, the old enemy. For years, Sweden was a thorn in the Empire's side. They have again used and again attacked Russia and tried to create coalitions against us. Tsar Peter I began pushing them back, beating them at P Poltava in 1809, and we defeated them again. And one would think that made them know their place. But they've kept trying to contest their interests in their Baltic region. It's time to once and for all squash and quash this tiny, tiny El Nation. Not bad. Happy 42, everybody. Um, excuse me, guys. I would like to be able to select the research and stuff. Thank you. Not bad. Cool, not bad. Uh, how are we doing on military factories? Getting more anti-air, which is very good. Get some more cast, because my gosh, we do we need some cast. Carry naval bomber 2 is nice, because we can use them immediately. Go 2 and 2. Oh, no, Roman on reconstruction has gone. That sucks. I was enjoying that. I was enjoying that a lot, actually. Get a lot of roads around here. I do not want to go to war Japan anytime soon. Even though we joined the triple on top, but whatever. Alright, 1940s carrier hole. More hangar space. I hate how you just save it and it's like, oh, we're done. We're done here. No, we're not. There we go. You're done, you're done, you're done. Oopsie. Nope. Alright, we can keep expanding. Do we need anything else here? We need rubber. That's all we need. Just a lot of rubber. Government's in exile. That's okay. Political actions. We're definitely okay here. And so let's take a look here. So we have the Triple Entente. Central powers do be looking a little weaker. I, I'm kind of glad I gave them Bulgaria. They have all this, though. It makes them you know, really strong. Then again, I just want to do them by self. I don't want to call them the allies. Or Triple Entente. Whatever. Mm, how do we, how can we go to war with them? Finland, Pan, Slavic Nationalism. Third Rome, Brothers Keeper, Poland. Yeah. Oh. Countries must approve the agreement for the bonuses to take effect. Against Conquer of Wargo against the German Empire. Oh, there it is, my brother's keeper. What's that one next? The old Roman of dynasty had dynastic ties with many other noble families. Some of them still hold power, some of them have lost their thrones. Now that we've restored our own monarchy, we should make sure that the rightful rulers are put in place in these other countries as well. Puppet focus against them? I don't know about puppet focus. I might do more than that. Actually, how long would it take for us to go to war these guys? Can we just, like, just go to war them anyways? No, we can't. Well, god dang it. Democracies can't justify war goals against countries that have not generated world tension. Bro, we're not a democracy. We don't give a crap about democracy here. We're equal opportunists. And the opportune times to smash your booty. So, I'm not sure what they're talking about. But, my brother's keeper, of course. Follow it up with the rightful heir to the Empire. I don't know. Should we release more puppets or not? I really don't want to release puppets. Then again, it would be bad. Let me know in the comments. Should we release puppets? Like, uh, if we can't. Actually, can we? 
Recan release nations? No. Because we had to first complete the autonomous Soviet republics. That's incredibly stupid for us. Why would we have to do that for Russia? That literally makes no sense at all. Why is that even a thing? I don't know. Let me know. So we, we got to know now. Like, Let me know if we should do that or we should not do that. I'm open to either one. Should we puppet more? Like, or what nation should we puppet? Should we puppet just like, a, uh, not America, but like Germany? Should we just do them? Let me know in the comments below. Puppet the Germans. Puppet maybe the anyone else we can grab. Become a spy master. Oh god, we we'll have a lot of agencies then. Holy crap! What? What? Just because? Oh boy! Just because? What? Uh, just because I became a spy master, bro? That is unfair. That is unfair. That is not cool. The triple entente, but they kick Russia out. Oh, I feel... Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know what? Screw it. I don't want to be part of the Triple Entente. I'll create my own faction with monarchs and... Blow. Yeah. We got enough manpower. Who cares about you guys? We don't need you all. Come on, man. Just because we want to assume... F a spy master doesn't mean you should just kick us out. I might just make a campaign go take out Germany... Japan, the UK, at this point, because that's BS. Um, why? Why would they do that to us? So evil. Yeah, screw that. Can we get a non aggression back with the Japanese again? Can we improve relations with them? I'm going to improve relations with them. Screw that. Screw you guys. I just want to go to war with the Germans now. See what happens. Call off the Poles. Smash through Italy. Smash through, well, big France. That's a big France. We'll see, though. That's such BS. Keep working on all that stuff. What else do we have here? Anything else? Any ships? No. Oh, cruiser hulls. Yeah, that's not too bad. Rapid fire guns. Well, cruiser battery twos. You know what? I'd rather start making them now than not, so. Not bad. What else we got here? Wrap up our guns, level twos, get some of this one, which is not as good as it could be. Uh, god dang it. Anti sub stuff, god dang it, we're not focused on that enough yet at all. Uh, anti air, you know what? Screw it. Go with Wrath of our guns. You know what? Go with that one too. There you go. Because my goodness, do we need screens or what? Or what? Alright, more land auction. Thank you, thank you. And more military factories. My brother's keeper. And it'll do the old enemy, maybe. We'll see. Or we'll just go to War of Finland. We'll probably go to War of Finland. We got a lot of light tanks, though. Hmm. Yeah, this tank is not very good. That armor is not very good either. Okay, so maybe we'll focus on the tanks. We'll see. I want to go to war melee with the Germans. Actually, since we're here, you're building that up anyways. How do we do that, bro? Why is everyone canceling their non-aggression pact? What do we do to deserve this? Why are you canceling your non-aggression pact? Why? Can we beat the Germans? That is the question of the hour. Hold enemy. Well. What if we were to do that? Could we put them in their place? Could we go out and strike against them? At least through Bulgaria. Oh, they're doing force defense. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Or maybe over here. Maybe a little bit. Sure, America. We'll take that gladly. Hmm. Yeah, hold for now. I said hold. I said hold. Now they're attacking us. <sighs> yeah, how many men do we lose in that 
Oh, hello. 27,000. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know, man. Sometimes it seems like it's not very fair. Like, you make enough stuff. Holy crap, 1,900? How do they get 1,900? Well, that's not fun. That's not good. Do our divisions... I do have anti-air. Recon. Hmm. Instead of recon. But recon's really good for what we have. Hmm. And now they call it in their allies. God dang it. Yeah, we're going to need tank, anti-tank. So we're going to get rid of one of these things. And it's probably going to be logistics. It's fine. Get a lot of anti-tanks. I apologize for not having been super like ready and secure for this uh, episode. Just because... Oh, God, I'm, I'm super tired of the time this recording. Super, super tired. Like, ridiculously tired. It's alright, though. Uh, not bad. <laughs> Cancel on these. What the heck, guys? Actually, can we... Ooh, that would open up an, a war down there. Can we go to here? What the heck? Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> Just because we wanted to become Spy Master. That's all I wanted. Just become spy master. And that's so much to ask for. Apparently. Should I choose that one? For oh, yeah. Uh, morale, I guess. It's fine. Doesn't really matter to me too much. More anti air, yes. Well, hopefully, now we're delivering a lot more calories. Oh, yes, we are. The Bluja. Very nice. Harad. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, you got, you, you, it's almost mandatory to have anti air now. And anti-tank in your divisions. What the heck happened over here? Holy crap, that's really bad. So after the old enemy, secure Finland. Rifle heirs of the Empire. Our Slavic commitments. The Iron Wall seems like a lot of fun. Not gonna lie, that seems like a lot of fun. Um, but I kind of want to do some more stuff up here. Let the engineer, yeah, let's do more max entrenchment. Well, many are proclaiming the end of the trench warfare following the development of the tank and airplane. It's clear that military engineering still has a place on the modern battlefield. We should form an institute to study modern methods of constructing modern field fortifications. Yes, please. How many Austrian Hungarians have we killed off? Not enough. 200,000. 281,000. Now I kind of don't want the monarchs here. 40 million. Oh, that was, oh, I dropped a vampire. Almost out of manpower. Oh, hello. Anything here? No. Level 5, though. That's not bad. Improved catapult plane. Yes, please. 42. Oh, we need railway guns as well. Forgot about that stuff, too. We're currently winning the battle. Interesting. I want to attack here, but what's best to wait? So let's come over here. What do we have? Nothing? Okay. Let's come over here. What do we have over here? So well planned attack. That's not bad. Honestly, I might want the extra supply consumption because we already got rid of it. So even though this would be nice static warfare. Let's go reserve officers. No. Flexible organizations. Logistic, logistical focus. Well planned attack, huh? Go on, Busher. That's fine. Anyone else? Level 5? Yes. Um. Let's do someone else. Let's do infiltration assault. Someone, something different for them. Elastic defense. Let's go to elastic defense for you two. There you go. Well, we killed, definitely killed off 700,000 of them. Not too bad. We got plenty of political power, though. Way plenty, 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 plenty of political power. Air form of genius? Eh. Why can't we take them? Oh, we need more command power, that's all. Cool, we can wait for that. Bro, we're only on limited conscription? Bro, nice. Supply consumption is really bad around here, though. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I definitely need that. Definitely need that too. Keep working on that stuff. Ooh, that sucks. Oh, hello. When did this happen up here? Uh, that's not good. 
That's really, really, really not good. Holy crap, that is my fault. Yeah, no, you gotta go out now. You're gonna force the attack. Well, looks like we're using light tanks then. Alright, so get some more light tanks in there. Grab some light tank, light tank, light tank. Nice. Logistics, and that's all I can afford. It's okay. Luga, da 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 da. And another carry under two. Okay, that's not good. Go on. Go on. Cut him off. There you go. And we do that too. Not bad. They should have no ports, so... Hey, we killed some off. I'm so glad I looked up there. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the mess that is here. Mountaineers, how are we doing here? Yeah, let me know the guns below. What what type of templates have you used that you found that would be most useful against like enemies like this? Because this is a bit ridiculous. Oh my gosh, thank god we got these guys. Cool, after this one. Uh, move industry to the Urals, far east fortifications, destroy Cossack units. You know, we're using this. Let's use it. In the Arvni, the motherland does not ask you about who wants to serve or defend it. Anyone willing to bear arms against the invaders welcome and be employed to the best of their abilities. Absolutely. Oh, thank god we actually got it done. Alright, what's over here? More air? Nice. And we're done with our air doctrine. Not bad. Well, this is basically what, what I did really want here, but... Hmm. 25,000 manpower. Search by requirement. Extensive conscription already. Not bad. Not biting. Maybe positioning right now. Alright, 42. Better anti tank, please. Yes, thank you. Please don't tell me I'm actually going to break through here. Bro, that would suck. So you're wounded, just gotta keep an eye on make sure on everything else. I do apologize for not being 100% ready for this, but that's kind of what I wanted to. How's the uh, supply base being made? It's taking a while. Way more military factories. Okay, so what are we missing here? Support equipment and fighters. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. And support equipment. That's okay, it's going down too. Thank you. Hold Saints. Oh. Shall not fall. It affects in a couple days. Stands. We did get close to losing it somewhat ish, but still, not that bad. He's probably promoted. I mean, I want to do a general attack, but I don't think there's really any point to. Nuclear bombs are nice. You know, do it too just in case. Get one up there too. Nice. Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep keep defending. Y'all doing fine. Good. Oh hey, America, thanks. Thanks, America. Destroy the Cossack units, of course. And rehabilitate military, yeah. The Bolsheviks kept an extremely zealous watch on the military, and what use was it for them? While we must keep the figure of the political officer to ensure the eradication of communist tinged thoughts, during the war we should let the military officers make judgments based on the military situation, not based on political considerations. Also followed up with peanut battalions. I like to wait for that one. Uh, we definitely need this one. The means of wage war. So we go over here. So Ministry of Mechanical Engineering. Our industry has become capable of creating increasingly large and complex machine tools and other heavy machines to the point where it would be justified to form a separate government entity to coordinate these projects. Followed up with the means of wage war. With the planes, the guns, and tanks in the army often attracted the highest attention and best king on parades. The common soldier cares a lot more about the quality of his rifle and the comfortability of his boots. We have to acknowledge that these things are at least as important to waging war as any fighter plane or howitzer. And then, uh, the Polytechnic Polytechnical Institute, St. Petersburg. As their foremost engineering school, the St. Petersburg Polytechnical Institute has long provided our country with engineers and industrial designers. We should expand it further to ensure that we will always have the best people available to fill any new, excuse me, any new positions in our growing industries. Nice. Uh, why do we have you? Who are you guys? Uh, do we make these divisions? Oh, it's the Cossack units. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. I don't know. I kind of want those units, though. We don't need any more horses. We already have enough horses. So, thanks, guys. But no thanks. We'll take the equipment, though. Uh, did anyone have a little six yet? Throw planner. It's not bad. Uh, five, four, four, five, 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 five. Oh, yes. Good luck, defense, for now. Combine arms. Offensive. Be, be offensive. 
losses before we end the episode. Well, it's about 1.76 million. That's not bad. But I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to keep grinding this off to just a little more screen. I do apologize for taking so long for this and not being super, 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 super ready. And I was very surprised that the Allies did kick us out, which really does suck. Because we, we basically formed the faction with them. Oh, but oh, but you know what? Let me know. Should we go to war with the UK as well? And France? And just actually just manage a picture of them? Because at this point, I kind of want to. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll figure out what we're going to do next in... And playing as the stars. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.